Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and today we're going to be starting a user-based community site tutorial series. Um, this is part one of many parts, so I don't really know how many there's going to be. But um, basically we're going to start off with uh, registering users for your site and going through activation, um, editing profile details, stuff like that. And then we're going to slowly build in the forums, um, online member system, profiles, um, profile commenting, private messages, all sorts of community stuff that you'd like to implement and stuff like that. So basically what we're going to be starting off here in part one is we're going to go download this template file that I created uh, specifically for this series. So if you're not a member of my website, uh, timkiptutorials.com, um, you'll need to register an account by clicking the register tab up here. Uh, choosing a username, password, verifying your password, and putting your email address in, and do a little bit of math. Once you register your account, um, you can log in. So I'll just log in here. And don't mind the background. Yours will not look like that unless you're on my profile, but you can upload custom backgrounds, stuff like that. But don't worry about that. Main thing is you want to go to the code bank right here and scroll down. There's uh, site templates right here, click on that. And there's going to be green PHP template with jQuery. Um, the reason why I'm using one with jQuery is because I don't want to go through the hassle of implementing it later when the site's already going, so I'm just going to start off in case we need to use it down the road. So just click download file, and once you extract that and unzip the file, you should have a file structure that looks sort of like this. You have a CSS folder, a JS folder, a header, footer and an index file, uh, PHP files. Inside the CSS you have a custom and a green. Green is basically the site layout for the template and the custom is where we're going to be putting uh, any additional styling that we want to use. And then in the JS we have jQuery 1.6.2 uh, file there for us to use which I download off jQuery.com and custom JS is um, we're going to be putting our JavaScript um, and stuff like that. So that is where we're at right now. So once you go home and download that, go home. You're already probably at home, but once you go and download that, uh, we can continue with the next step. So if you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Um, basically, the only thing I've done to the template file is I've changed uh, the header. I'm in Notepad++ right here. You can use Dreamweaver, uh, Notepad. You could use whatever text editor you like. Um, Basically, in the template header div, all I did was change um, the PHP green site template with jQuery to what I have now, user base community part one. That's just for my reference. And then I did the same thing in the footer. I just took out all the footer except for the copyright 2011 put the same thing. And in the index file, this is what you'll see. Uh, page title, um, we're just going to call this index page. Basically, you can set your page properties up at the top here and it will automatically be generated within the code below in the header uh, which say index page for now uh, if you want keywords or anything for um, search engine stuff like that put it there descriptions I'm just leaving it out because I don't need it but um, and I'm just gonna wipe out the text in between here the two paragraphs I'll save it I'm gonna go back over here to refresh it and I should only see a blank screen just like that. Okay, so once you have that all set up and you're with me at the same point where we uh, empty index page, uh, basically anything between the header and the footer includes right here will be shown in this white space right here. So next thing we need to do is um, set up the database that we're going to use. Uh, we're not going to put anything in it right this instant, but over in PHP my admin we're going to want to create a da uh, database and we're just going to call it for lack of better what did I name my folder? Member site. We'll do that. We'll just name it member site underscore site uh, create and we're going to leave it empty for now. We're going to go back into notepad plus plus or whatever text editor you're using and we're going to create a new file and in this file we're going to uh, create a connection to the database so you want to open close your PHP brackets. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save this first. We're going to create a new folder in the root directory and we're going to call it uh, scripts, just for lack of better terms. 
So inside the scripts folder, we're going to save it as uh, connect.php. Okay. And we're going to set up uh, four variables. We're going to say host. And next one is going to be user. Next one is going to be password. And the last one is going to be DB, short for database. And for host, you're going to probably want to choose localhost. If you're testing on a live server, um, you got to check with your web server to get your host address. Uh, I don't have a username set up or anything like that, so mine's just root and I have no password. And database will be the member site or whatever you created um, in phpMyAdmin. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to just say, uh, set up another variable that says connect equal to mysql underscore uh, connect open and close parentheses finish off semicolon inside there it takes three parameters first one's going to be the host and you want to separate it with a comma next one's going to be the user so user variable comma and then the password password and then we're going to say um, do an if condition. We're going to say if connect and do that. So basically inside of here um, successful connection to the database. Uh, we're going to echo out, or we're actually we're not going to do anything. We're just going to uh, do the next thing. We're going to say dollar sign select is equal to mysql underscore select underscore db and then we're going to put the dollar sign db because that's the uh, database that we're going to connect to and then we're going to say if uh, select we're going to say connected to the database uh, for now, let's just say echo connected successfully. I can spell right. Else, we're just going to echo out could not connect with the information supplied. And we'll put another um, else statement after the first if statement. And that's just if you cannot connect to the database, we're going to just echo out um, could not connect with the supplied username and password. Okay, we're going to save that. And back in the header, um, I'm sorry, not the header page. Yes, I'm sorry. At the top of the header page, we need to open and close PHP brackets, and we need to include our connection file. So include once. Actually, we're going to require once, because this will be... Um, required obviously. Open and close double quotes and since it's in our scripts folder we're going to need to go into the scripts folder and go to connect.php. And we're going to save that. If we go over here back to our index page and refresh at the top of the page we should get connected successfully. If I were to change this and give it a password just random refresh again it's going to say an error um, X is denied and it says cannot connect with the username and password. So we're going to change that again and change the database to something else that we do not have. And it says cannot connect with this information supplied. So um, so that we know our information is uh, ready to go, we can just, uh, I'm just going to comment out these echoes for now. Just so I don't have to deal with the stuff at the top of the screen. So we're connected to the database. 
um, you should have your template file and uh, connect.php created and then in the header uh, you want to require once scripts slash connect.php if you're following along. In part two we will go ahead and set up um, the users table and we're going to start working on registration for users and we'll go from there. So I hope to see you in part two. Thanks.